Welcome everyone to the 11 point countdown. Yes. <laughs> this episode we are counting down the 11 best comic book superhero movies based on more than 5,000 votes on 11points.com. My name's Sam Greenspan of 11 Points and I am joined by my co-host today, web superstar, glasses, leather jacket, what? sweatshirt, t-shirt, and curly hair break superstar, Woody Tondor! <laughs> Excited to be here, Woody. Great to have you. It's it, this is this has been a long time coming. It has been, and we've talked comic book hero movies many times. So I figured this is perfect. It's perfect. I for can't us. believe that five thousand people actually respond to you. They have opinions, and we I can't believe we this. find them out now. That's okay. Let's All right, it. the number eleven best comic book superhero movie is the Michael Keaton version of Batman. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, Great. This is the, okay. Well, well done, audience. Even um, though it's only eleven. It beat out a lot of things. We're still only eleven. Well, I mean, let's let's just acknowledge the truth right off the bat. Number one's going to be Dark Knight, so let's just I mean, put it out right. We know that. Thing. I'm surprised number eleven wasn't Dark Knight Rises, actually. <laughs> People being like, I heard the trailer already, like right. IMAX. But like, how many times have I said to someone, "Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight?" Absolutely, twice. <laughs> two, yes. two times. Only the first was murder. <laughs> Ten. Best comic book superhero movie, Spider-Man 2. Ooh, okay. The this Doc is... Ock one. Yeah. yeah. My favorite part is Mary Jane Watson goes, I think on some level I always knew. And I'm like, no, you didn't, bitch. Come on. <laughs> no. He's, she didn't even know when they had the upside down kiss in the first one. Right. Number nine, best comic book superhero movie, X-Men, wait for it, 2. Okay, okay. Yeah. People love X-Men 2, actually. I think people actually prefer that to X-Men 1. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the thing that X-Men 2 is just so much better than X-Men the first is... Is the opening when Nightcrawler just fucking demolishes the White House? Right. Which, by the way, can you imagine that West Wing episode? Yeah. They're like, they're like talking back and forth, all of a sudden, like, Donna, holy shit, Nightcrawler's <laughs> killing everyone! Number like, eight, best comic book superhero movie, Watchmen. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's, they, the gentleman is absolutely correct. Right. Uh, it, it's not a movie about Blue Dong. It See, is not. You know, I it actually want, before we started, I was like, we should put a countdown on the screen to how long he brings up the blue penis. Right. I, in fact, took you 20 seconds. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, I don't know. Watch my blue penis. Like, that's, that's just all I can say. I need to ask this question. Why uh, the Rorschach character, why to be taken seriously as a superhero? Do you have to talk like you just smoked 18 packs of cigarettes and like drank three <laughs> bottles of scotch? I, <laughs> Is it only threatening if I talk to you like this? I can't get I'm this. I'm actually up. a little threatened right now. Right, hey, uh, let me. <laughs> yeah, you look like a street tough right now. So <laughs> I'm a little threatened. Tell me what. The <laughs> Number seven, best comic book superhero movie. Staying with this, X Men: Colon First Class. Dude, I love this one. It is. It's a Bond film with superheroes yeah. and Michael Fassbender just being. Freaking amazing! <laughs> Just, I can say this as as a as a heterosexual male, you can. I'm gay for Michael Fassbender. All right. <laughs> I mean, if Michael Fassbender was like, hey, like, you can be in this movie, but just, you know, a quick little handy, I'd be like, well, is anyone looking? And then, like, can and, I be and, close and, to and Jennifer And if so, Lawrence? can more people look? <laughs> <laughs> this will just like yeah. my career, right? All right. Just, just, all right, just get the end. <laughs> Number six, best superhero comic book movie, Kick-Ass. Interesting pick. I this, like it, though. This is a brave, brave yeah. choice, oh, audience. Oh, a little applause. A few, and it'll, it'll catch. It'll catch. This is, um... The, the best thing about Kick-Ass is it, uh, like, the very first time the kid goes out and he's like, you know what, I'm in a wetsuit and I'm going to go into... He gets his ass right. handed to him. <laughs> he gets stabbed. He gets kicked the shit out of... He gets hit by a freaking car. And it's kind of like, if there was anything, like, everyone's like, oh, I could do the superhero thing. You're going to effing die. Right. Yeah, it's, it, it's very realistic. McLovin is a bad guy, not as realistic, but... Right. It, it, <laughs> number five, best comic book superhero movie. X-Men, the original. Whoa. Can't believe it beat the other two X-Men. I take it back. Your readers are stupid. Ah. Just, no, this is this is a bad They're choice. They're going to rail on you now. They'll bring it on. Yeah. Like, like, look, <laughs> Freaked me out, actually, the first time. When, when I was watching the movie, I didn't know the, all the backstory. And, and and he was in a concentration camp. And yeah. I was like, wait, the bad guy of this movie was a concentration camp prisoner? What the hell are they doing? We got some gray in your black and white world, Sam. Right. Where, where I grew up, concentration camp survivors are heroes only. Trust me. <laughs> Number four, best superhero, Spider-Man 1. I like Spider-Man 1. I, I can't disagree with that. Spider-Man 1's pretty... I mean, it's good. It's very right. good. Except uh, Green Goblin kind of looks like a Power Ranger. 
A little bit. Um, yeah. There's just something about like Willem Dafoe that like, first of all, like Willem Dafoe haunts my nightmares just anyways. But it is really good. Although James Franco as <laughs> Harry Osborn. That's okay. But, the, but this, the one girl is going to be like, right. I like handsome. But this is this is pre this is pre like weird James Franco. So right. this is just like this is before James Franco like deep end like before doing Franco soap played. operas and right. Oscar. He's like, I'm stuff. bored. What do I want to do? I guess yeah. I'll jump rope and make a documentary about right. it. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number three. Best Best comic book superhero movie, Batman Begins. Uh, Batman Begins is amazing. Part of the reason Batman, the, the Nolan franchise, is so great is that he talks like this all the time. And though, like, you could make fun of that if that was anyone else, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified of this. This is great. Yeah. I mean, I have used, I don't know how many times, though, swear to me in the bedroom <laughs> every time. Number two, best comic book superhero movie. No surprise here, Iron Man. This is good. It's a good this one. Is, yeah. Yeah. The sequence where he's in the cave building the Iron Man suit and escapes is one of the best comic book movie sequences of all time. Yeah. Like, it's, that's just an incredible, incredible sequence. And also, it's like Tony Stark in an Al Qaeda video. Like, <laughs> I got a nosebleed immediately. I'm like, what? John Favreau directed yeah. this? <laughs> are you Are you kidding me? Like, all right. And <laughs> number one. As predicted by Sir Woody Todd, the best be comic book else. superhero movie, of course, Dark Knight. It's it's just it's a no-brainer. Yeah, Keith Ledger saw like a uh, rough cut of it, and he's like, I can't do any better than this. I guess I'll just kill myself. And Mary Kate Olsen was like, I can do. <laughs> what is he here? Yeah. <laughs> this is so offensive. <laughs> I mean, just everything that you could possibly, like, the, the trailer was amazing. Like, when they flipped the 18-wheeler, I saw it in IMAX, and I peed a little. Right. I was like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. All right, we're going to wrap up the episode. That's it for this one. Thanks to Woody Tondorf, everyone. The always politically correct. Uh, follow Woody on his Twitter, at Woody Tondorf. The spelling will mostly make sense. Uh, he has a ton of web projects, and he's very funny. Uh, Please subscribe to the 11 Points Countdown YouTube channel. We are doing wonderful things over here, obviously. And check out the full results of this poll on 11points.com, the website you go to because top 10 lists are for cowards. Woo!